This is Lagos Apapa Wharf for the Nigerian Port Authority. Due to the commercial strength of this part of Lagos, Assessing this place by road was a major challenge. Many business and residents of this part of Lagos suffered due to traffic and other road challenges. As you can see, there are a lot of businesses, factories at this particular place, which makes this place one of the most industrialized, one of the industrialized part of Nigeria. And since we have the Apapa Wharf here, and this is what we have here, the domestic factories companies will be here to be able to export they are finished product to other parts of the world, right from the Apapa uh, Wharf. Making this place one of the busiest places, making this road one of the busiest roads in Nigeria. In this video, we'll be driving through the newly reconstructed Apapa Oroshoki Express, right from Maotu area down to Apapa Wharf. We kick off from Maotu, heading to Apapa. This is the level of construction of the new renovated um, Oroshoki Apapa Express. As you can see, so we're driving from Maotu now down to Apapa for you to see how much they've achieved on this particular road. If you are familiar with this road, you should know that this place is to be one of the busiest roads in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, most of the trailers you see on the road spend months just to get from Maotu to Apapa. Yeah, something I'll be driving in less than 10 minutes. They will spend three months, two months, one month on the road just to get to this particular place most of the people residing in this particular community don't even drive cars anymore because there's no road to actually get to their house most people have to relocate to other part of lagos to be able to enjoy their comfort to the fact they don't have access to to their various home this was the ninth may here in lagos but right now this is how much they've achieved on this road what do you think about this project this is i don't know what do you think? Let me read my comments. So let me let me hear from you. What do you think about this project? Personally, driving through this road, seeing how much they've achieved on this particular project, I must confess, um. I'm so amazed, yeah. This is so lovely, guys. Can you imagine? Like this road is smooth. Let me tell you the truth. There, this video was shot on Monday. Monday happens to be the busiest day in Nigeria. If in Nigeria, you know that Monday is a very busy day. But this is what we have on Monday. I don't know. What do you think? Why do you think the road is is, is this free? Enjoy the ride. We have the Tinkan Port Island, we have the Liverpool five star other notable places on this on this road. And this is where this road connects. Like this is one of the most important roads in Nigeria. One of the most important roads. And right now it's cleared up of traffic and very much open for business. I don't know if you are familiar with this road. I would like to get your feedback. What do you think about this road? Like what do you give us a feedback? What do you know about this road? Alright, in case you are asking, this road was constructed by High Tech Construction Company. They are also the contractors of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, which is currently ongoing. This road is paved with concrete, like it's very, very strong. And as you can see, there's no artifacts, but the roads are marked, paint, and it's looking like this. What do you think about the project? We'd like to get a feedback in the comment section. Yeah, that's where I can only get your feedback. Also, work. On that in the future updates all right i don't know the details you will let me capture in the future updates let me know in the comment section guys please you can support the channel by buying us coffee this is the way to fund next project we we're working on please it goes a long way buy us coffee thank you keep enjoying the video guys Guys, like the video for the Mind Chagor Redeem. I'm seeing your boy OZ, and we are touring the Papa Oroshoki Expressway that was recently completed. Yeah, that's been under re re rehabilitation by a high tech construction company. And this is how much they've achieved on the project so far. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching. 
thank you for coming forward with me on this part of the video at this point i will kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel just subscribe it doesn't cost anything just click that subscribe button part of this awesome family you know so you miss out in our next updates At this point, you can actually divert to Tinkan Island or continue driving towards Apapa and we're heading towards Apapa right now, alright? Please, let us know where you're watching from and what is so far so good, what do you think about this project? We've passed several places here. I don't know if you're familiar with this road, but if you are, let us know in the comment section. We drove inside the street to also see what that part of the road looked like. Come with me guys. Technically, the whole street is cleared up and the traffic has reduced drastically on this road. The upper part of Oshoke Expressway also affected even inside the street. So you can see there are less vehicles, less trailers on the road and this is what we have inside the street. Guys, your support has been the only thing powering all I've been doing so far on this channel. Please buy us coffee. This is the way we able to film this project, do whatever we are doing to show you what is happening in Nigeria. As watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video for the mighty algorithm. All right, so let's dive back into the video. This is Boma Road, inside one of the streets in Apapa. One of the arguments we're having is that the Nigerian Port Authority do not really receive much consignment as you used to. As a matter of fact, transporters and agents working in this particular place are complaining that, as you can see, if you listen very well um, in our last conversation inside the bus, you see that many people are complaining that they don't um, work as you used to. This is why the road is free, and the fact that this road has been completed and reconstructed we're hoping that this new administration will make policies that will be favorable for the nigerian port authority to start receiving consignments both imports and exports so that this rule will actually pick up and business will strive as it used to in a proper world. the good thing here is that this road has been fixed and the biggest advantage is that it now opens up opportunities and bring more business to this part of lagos with the right policies and enforcement of order there will be less dreadlock on this road so if i come your way again i remember your boy and this is where i would recommend that you follow the one showing next on your screen but before we go please ensure you subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comment section things you would like me to talk about concerning this particular road or papa wolf in the future so that when we're working on our next updates we'll consider those things and put them into 
practice. So I'll be expecting your feedback in the comment section.